Hi there, Kevin Raber. I'm back with you for another daily chat. Sorry I wasn't with you yesterday. <laughs> Once again, the days get out of hand. But I'm very excited to uh, share something with you today. I bought a new camera. Yep, I bought a new camera. And it's a really cool camera because it's got a phone attached to it. Yes, I've upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I'm really, really excited. Uh, I put my order in last week and I should be getting it sometime in the very early part of October. And uh, this is one thing uh, that I'm getting uh, new from Apple that I'm really excited about because uh, I see the possibility in the future in photography with the iPhone. And this camera really is more about the photography aspect of things than it is the phone. I mean, the phone's a phone. You answer up the phone. You know, I got my iPhone 14 here and it does a great job and as far as photography goes uh, I count on it for a lot. Right now for example I've got 114,151 photos and 650 videos. <laughs> I'm really proud of that. Hard to believe I'm carrying that much around and that this is a one terabyte phone and it's just about halfway full. Now, of course, everything I shoot goes up to the cloud and uh, syncs to all my other devices, blah, blah, blah. We'll get into that, but, you know, it's kind of fun because uh, going through all my old stuff today, I found this. This is my very first iPhone. Remember when that came out? It kind of changed the world. So uh, I've got that phone, but I also got a whole stack of these little buggers here. So look at this stack of phones. All sorts of different phones, all that have served me well, all still functional, except probably for the carrier side of things. Um, anyway, let's talk a little bit about the iPhone 15 and why I'm excited about that. Uh, this is going to be a truly, really cool camera. This is, I think, the, the first step over the next several years of these cameras getting so good that they'll probably be the mainstay camera for a lot of people. I have ordered the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That comes with a 6.7 inch screen and one terabyte of internal storage 29 hours of battery life with an a17 chip not that i would really understand the difference between an a16 and a17 but the numbers look very impressive it has a 48 megapixel are you hearing me this correctly 48 megapixel standard camera and it's got basically seven lenses in your pocket camera these lenses are the macro lens, 13 millimeter equivalent, a 24, a 28, a 35, a 48, and all the way up to 120. Now that's going to be pretty incredible. That's pretty much the standard shooting range of, um, you know, three lenses in a in, in a mirrorless uh, kit at this point. So it's going to be really fun to have that. Uh, kind of capability, not to mention a macro capability. It's got a super cool night capability and they were really cool where they did this uh, Tetra Prism thing to be able to get to 120 millimeter zoom. So essentially using a number of different uh, prisms inside the camera, uh, they now can do up to 120 millimeter zoom and they can even go further on the digital zoom side of things so this camera is going to be a blast to work with it does a 48 megapixel heic format as well as the 48 megapixel pro raw now i think it's pretty cool like if you don't want to touch anything but you want nice large files shoot with the standard camera at 48 megapixel heic and you've got your images frankly though i'm the kind of guy that likes to take my raw images so i'll be shooting with pro res raw as they call it and uh, taking them into Lightroom and making my final adjustments there. Uh, having done this in the past on the old camera, I've got the ability to recover shadows and highlights very nicely, so it's going to be really super cool to do that. The 48 megapixel main camera lens is a 26 millimeter vocal length, okay? That means it's essentially 26 millimeter vocal length, um, and it's got a 1.6 aperture. So there's three lenses on the camera, and they work in magic in a sense. Uh, we'll go into that when I get the camera and I can show it to you. But uh, they all work together to uh, do some pretty cool things with pixel binning and things like that uh, to get to the point where essentially it can run from 12 all the way up to 48 megapixels uh, in, in the camera. 
In the present camera system, we know there's a portrait mode, and the portrait mode allows you to go into portrait mode, shoot an image, and then in post, decide how much blur you want to the background and so forth. It also allows you to decide who's in focus and who's not in focus if you have people that are different lengths. That is now turned on automatically when the camera sees a person in the photograph. Now, you know, why can't the other camera manufacturers do this? I mean, this is some pretty cool stuff. Computational photography uh, set into that. They're also going to be doing spatial photography. As you know, Apple's come out with this new uh, VR kind of uh, headset, um, and you'll be able to do spatial imaging where you can photograph with your camera in spatial and then see it back through these uh, VR headset and it's, and it's just going to be really freaking ridiculous. So let me read off some of the more important specs to you, just so you can get an overall of why I'm so excited. It's a 48 megapixel main camera. Basically, there are three lenses, a 24 millimeter, a 28, and a 35. It's got super high resolution photos, a USB-C port. That means we'll be able to transfer images directly over the USB-C port at 10 times the speed that we were doing with the lightning port. It's going to be very exciting and it's also going to allow us to tether and capture to external devices like a hard drive or right now they're touting the capture uh, to capture one uh, through tethering. That's going to be pretty exciting. So we'll see where that develops in the future. There are four cool colors that will be coming in and always on display. It's made of titanium, super strong, super light, really beautiful looking finish. It's got all day battery life, up to 29 hours a, a day. It's got a dynamic island in the uh, display. This dynamic island, while you're seeing the display uh, in the sleep mode, will show you different things, like if you get off an airplane, what gate to go to, and uh, other things that software developers have taken advantage of the dynamic um, island feature. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Got Wi-Fi 6E, which is pretty cool. So that's going to mean you're going to get faster Wi-Fi. The next generation portrait system, which I told you about, I, I'm so excited to use that because if I'm taking pictures of family events and there's a lot of people in it, it automatically switches. In uh, post, I can automatically go and, and do some different uh, changes. It's got a whole bunch of great video features. Uh, I'm not so much the video guy, <laughs> but I'm turning into one. Uh, so we'll tune in on those, but it even has a, a log format so you can basically shoot a raw video and recover in post uh, dynamic range and so forth. But you know the images that I have seen video wise off this camera in the HDR mode are just absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, can't wait for the next week or two to, to pass by so I can get my new camera. And when I do, you can be sure that I'm going to show you this new camera and maybe we'll touch on the phone and some of the other things that go along with it. So in the meantime, <laughs> I'm gonna use my phone the way it is. I'm gonna shoot more pictures with it. We're gonna be covering a lot of things with uh, iPhone and mobile device uh, software and use uh, in the, the coming months just because I see it as one of the, the futures and it's also the camera that we have with us all the time. Plus the third party apps that are being developed are gonna be absolutely super to take advantage of this uh, new, new camera system. So it's gonna be really exciting to see where it is. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, this is Kevin Raver and this is The Daily Chat. Thanks for stopping by. If you got a moment, please hit the subscribe button. If you wanna hit that little bell button too, that'll get you notified of new videos when we put them up. I wanna say thank you for being part of the PXL family and I'll see you tomorrow.